Hi there, this is the Details Flower software and today this video is going to go over how to create a wedding scenario in our software and we'll touch base on our two main resource sections at the top, our item gallery and our recipe gallery. We'll also briefly go over how the proposal works. On our screen here right now we're looking at the worksheet section. On the left hand side is what we're calling our design board. This is where we will collect all the items we need for this event. On the right is what we call our worksheet. This is preloaded template that you can customize at any point in time so keep that in mind. We'll touch base on it here a little bit in a moment. When your client sends you over your inspiration pictures, whether it's from Pinterest or wherever they have collected them, the best place to load those in details is right on your design board by clicking Add Recipe. This is going to open up your desktop or documents anywhere you have loaded those items and you can collect them accordingly. Once it's loaded, you can see in the top right hand corner that this is not automatically appearing with ingredients, so that's the work we will do. From there, we're going to head on over to the resource section at the top and start to gather all the items that we may need for this event. Our item gallery is really lovely because it comes preloaded by our amazing partnerships. And if you choose to click into any of their folders, you can view the data that they have stored in details. It comes provided with the images of those items. And if you click on that item, you can view some more information about it as well. You can always make any edits to suit your company based off of inventory or rental price. If you want to collect these items over to your board for this event, you'll simply star them in the top right hand corner and they'll collect accordingly. From there in the center of the page, we can click this gallery home and we're going to just head back into that gallery. From there, let's click into all items and we can start to search the whole database for things that we may need for this event. On the left hand side we have a magnifying glass. Once you click that your left hand side will change accordingly. From here I'm going to view all flowers that maybe have pink, white, and green. So we can click the little down sign there to find the green and then at the bottom of the screen we can search accordingly. The right hand side will load with those items and as you see the items that you want to use you'll simply star them in the top right hand corner. Once again, any of these items can be adjusted by clicking in the center of the picture and then choosing to edit any of the information we have preloaded. So I'm going to just take a moment and maybe gather some random things here for this event. And since we're in all items, it will be showing any of our partners, any items that you have uploaded or that details already had here. If you do not see an item that you're wanting to upload, it may be best to search it by its name first. And if you don't find it by the name, then we can add that item accordingly. So coming back to the design board, clicking that little magnifying glass, if we didn't find what we needed, we could always clear the search in the bottom left and then choose to scroll up a bit and we can maybe type that by its name. If you need to add your own item, you can do so in the top right hand corner by adding new, new item, and filling out your image and what type of item you're wanting to upload. From there, our next resource section at the top is going to be our recipe gallery. This area here comes preloaded with 80 of our own recipes, just to give you a good idea of how it all works you can always feel free to remove those out and start to add your own. I'll go over a few examples of what recipes can be because they don't have to just be flower related. So for example, here I have a drapery inspired ceremony structure and in this I did not attach any florals. I simply attached all the little items that I don't like to forget such as my ladder so I don't have to stand on those little white chairs. You can star these items over to your board accordingly when you're ready to use them. And for example, like this tall recipe, I even uploaded the vase that I was going to be using. 
Now that we have these recipes starred, we can make any adjustments to them once we go back to our worksheet. At the top of our worksheet, unless you've customized this area already, we have our color palette. We have a few options for choosing the perfect color. You can scroll around in this section here. When you find the best color, you just click anywhere outside the box to select it. If you do not grab a good color, you can click the trash can in the top right hand corner. Coming back in here, we can input a color by a hex or a Pantone name. If that blush was a little too harsh, you can always look at recommended tints to find a better shade. The last option will be from an image. You can upload a picture from your desktop and pull the perfect color directly from the picture. You can even reorganize those. Right below that is a table and seating chart. It's just a quick quote to find exactly how many tables you might be designing based off of the information you've gathered. So 24 tables. Right below that, if I had estimated prices set, I could go ahead and type in any quantities that I knew the client was needing to get that rough budget. When I'm ready to start designing, I can simply either drag and drop over that initial image, that blank image that the client had sent over to us. And what I can do from here is just set a budget of what I'm wanting to design. So first we're going to click the lock button next to it. And then we'll type in the price that we want to honor. I can click the little icon to close it down and design it at a later date. If I had some notes that I wanted to track, but I had no image or ingredients to pull over, I can simply click the plus sign next to that line item. So for example, the groomsman, I'm going to choose to add a blank recipe. And right from here, we can make any notes or descriptions. You can go ahead and set how many groomsmen, and you can always lock in the budget that you're wanting to work within, clicking the little icon to close it out. When you're ready to start designing, you can open back up your recipes and start to drag and drop over the ingredients that you want to relate to this image. So grabbing that item anywhere in the blue box, you can drop it. You'll notice now it's showing us our cost to purchase these two stems, our markup, which we can change at any point in time, and then the price that we should charge the client. If I didn't want to drag and drop one by one, what I could also do is click add ingredient and just simply select multiple items that I'd already gathered. Click anywhere outside the box. From here, I'm going to play around with my stem count of how many I assume to put into this arrangement. And then once I get to a point where I think it's good enough, I can look below of whether I stayed in that budget or not. And then in this case, I accidentally put 12, so I did not. And then I can see here whether I stayed within that budget of what I locked in that $200 for the client. So I still have a little bit of room according to the detail software. Once again, we can put any notes or descriptions here, whether it's going to be wrapped in twine. I could even pull over that twine ingredient if I'd prefer. We'll close the box. If I had a pre-existing recipe, I could always drag and drop that over, and then I can make any adjustments to those ingredients. So maybe for this new client, we did not want to do as many olive leaves, and we were going to supplement with a little bit of more pink into there. I can always lock and override that price. Scrolling down, if we did not have an inspiration picture for the groomsmen, we could always drag and drop over individual ingredients. And for things like wax flowers or anything where you have multiple stems on it, you can always do a 0.5 stem. And then we'll just put our quantity. Scrolling down, we had mentioned about the ceremony area. So if I had made my basic recipe of all the normal things that I like to make sure that I have, from here I can just start to attach any of the greenery or more specific items that are going to be for this client. We'll 
once again, I can always override that price. Scrolling down, I'm going to pull over just a tall centerpiece so we have some more things to look at on our proposal. At the bottom of the page, when you're done designing, you're going to click Save. It always asks you to save it as a version. This is really lovely because we're going to keep a historical data of every version that you've ever saved, giving you the access to look back at all those previous recipes and items you've created. The versions will always be found in the top right-hand corner under Options and Load Version. From there, we're going to go on over to the proposal at the top of the page here. It will always ask you to confirm that you've saved. Even though we know we just saved, it pops up. We're going to just click yes if we know we did. Once we get to the proposal, we have three different themes found on the top left-hand corner. Once you select your theme, you can scroll on down. You'll notice some placeholder images, and in those sections, you're going to just click on the picture. It'll open a box of All Inspiration. We're going to click where it says All Inspiration and head on into our recipe images. These will be all those specific images that you either uploaded or collected from your recipe section. So you'll just take a moment to find the items that look best in there. You can even go to Item Images, which are all the individual items that you collected to that board as well. Pretty much anything with a red box around it when you're hovering over this page, you can click into that area and edit what it has to say. Clicking save at the bottom, we can move up a little bit and then move from the cover page to the concept page. The concept page works just like the cover, meaning anything with a red box, you can change what it has to say. And then you will have these placeholder images that you're going to want to update with the proper items. We allow you to choose these pictures just so you can highlight the most important parts so you don't technically have to show the 10 different kinds of greenery you're using unless that's something you wanted to do. Um, and then you can always choose to turn off any image as you see fit as well. So if you didn't have 10 pictures, simply choose this no image here and you can turn them off accordingly. On the left hand side we have what we call our proposal editor and that's always going to give you the options to either turn a page off altogether and not use it. So maybe this was your initial quote and you didn't really have time to put it all together, you weren't booked yet, things like that. And you can always bring it back when you're ready. Next page after the concept will be the design agreement. This page here is all the information you initially filled out about the client. We didn't go over that in this video, but you can always learn more on our full extended video that we have. But anything with a red box, you can change what that has to say. Next page is going to be your items. These will be all the items you're actually using in your recipes. From time to time, this page may be blank if you do not create a recipe. In that case, on the left-hand side, you'll just make sure to turn the page to hidden. But otherwise, if you find a section that you do not want to show, like this miscellaneous items, you can always go onto the left-hand side and turn that section to hidden. The next page is going to be your line items. These will be all the information that you put on your worksheet. Anything that you want to hide here, just find it on the left-hand side and you can turn it to hidden. So for example, I didn't really name any of these recipes, so I might choose to hide the name of the recipes. Maybe my client hasn't booked me, so I want to hide these individual prices, so I can go and find that, hide that as well. Once I get it to the point, I will save it. Next page will be whatever terms you set in your company settings. We'll have a breakdown page and a summary page. From there, you'll just simply save and publish. It's going to create a PDF history for your client and a link to email off to them so they can electronically view the proposal and sign it. Once this loads, we'll go ahead and take a look at that. And then from there, you can get started on your own seven day free trial if you had not already. And you can reach out to us to schedule a full demo going over any questions you may have. Here's the link on the right hand side that has been created for us. Clicking the view button below will allow us to view it accordingly. 
from here, this is how the client will see your proposal. They'll be able to accept and assign it electronically. They'll be able to download it and print it. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video and we hope to hear from you soon.